In this video, we're going to code our very first bot. All we want to do is to simply get the bot to drive forward from one side to the other. So let's go into our blue bot one. Now there's a lot of code here that's come with some default bots that you can use to test capture the flag. However, we want to start with a clean slate. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove quite a lot of these lines here. So I'll remove these ones here. We need this first line here from game frame import blue bot and globals. We need this line here, this line here, and this line here. We'll take out this one. And we'll need the tick function, but everything after that we can delete. And lastly, after this tick function, we'll put the word pass. Now I'll come back to explain some of this, but for right now, if you can make your blue bot one look just like this, and then go through and make all your other bots the same. You can't just simply copy and paste though, because notice that this is called blue one, whereas blue two will be called blue two and so on. Now I've taken care of these ones earlier, so if you have a look here, you can see they're the same but with different naming, and then same down with the red. All right, once you've got them all cleared like this, we'll save those files. Don't forget to do Control S to make sure you save each one of those files. Now we're going to go ahead and run Capture the Flag. So if I right click on the main controller, run Python file in terminal, You'll see now that all the bots are just sitting there. They're not doing anything. They're not being given any commands yet. So I'll just stop that. That would have just timed out and resulted in a draw. Okay, so to come back and have a look at this file now, what we'll do is we'll just start with a simple movement of just driving forward, and we're going to do it in blue one. So these lines up here, again, I'll come back and talk more about them in a later video, but this is boilerplate code. This is what we need to set up a bot. Okay, from below this onwards is where all the action happens. This function here called tick, any code in here gets called every time the screen refreshes, and we do that by default 30 times every second. So 30 times a second, you get the opportunity to have a look at your environment and tell your bots to do something. Okay, so let's do that now. If I want to refer to the current bot that I'm in now, so I'm currently in the blue one bot file, I can refer to blue one as being self. So if ever I say self, I mean the current file I'm in. I can access and give commands to all my other bots on my team, but for now we're just going to deal with the one bot. So you can see I've got this code completion here which helps me out in my editor. So what I want to do is I want to drive forward. So you can see there I'll just do that again self dot and I know it's drive so you can see uh, the more I type the more it narrows it down for me. So you can see there's a drive forward function and a drive backwards function. We have an API document which again I'll talk about in the next video but for now we're just going to use that drive forward function. Now if I open up the brackets here, it tells me when I give the command for this bot to drive forward, I need to give it some more information. Or if I don't, it will default to particular information. So what this tells me is the drive forward, I can also give it a speed to drive forward at this function. So by default, it says the speed will be slow. Okay, I can override that. And I can say globals dot fast. So this will move the blue bot forward fast. And that's what it's going to do every tick. So I'm not checking anything. I'm not going to say, well, if I'm on my side, I want to drive forward. If I'm on the enemy side, I want to go for the flag or anything like that. Our first bot is simply going to drive from one side of the screen to the other. Okay, so you can see there's this dot up here on this file. That means the file has been altered but hasn't yet been saved. So if I go control S you can see now the dot's gone and it's an X. So let's run this program again.
and now you can see that bot was facing downwards a little bit it wasn't pointing exactly straight it will go forward at whatever angle it's currently facing okay so the bot went down it collided with an enemy bot and now it's sitting in jail so that's our very first bot all we needed to do was for it to drive straight ahead and we've now done that so in the next video we'll have a look at what other functions are available for our bots we can drive forward backwards turn left turn right so we'll have a look at what other things we can do